Welcome to the Mirror of the World. My name is Buki Adeoshun, and I'm excited to bring you the word of the Lord today. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We bless your name. We magnify you because you are a good God. Lord, we honor you. We praise you. We thank you for what you are going to reveal to us in your word today. Lord, I thank you because I know you have a word for someone. Thank you for giving them the patience to wait to watch this video to the end so that they might see what it is that you want to say to them. Lord, thank you because you will show us something in your word that will make us increase in the knowledge of you. And I thank you because everything that we see in your word today our lives will be transformed into it by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Thank you once again. This is the Mirror of the World. It's a program where we read a chapter of the Bible. We pray for those who are sick and then we ask someone to become born again, to give his or her life to Jesus Christ. We've been reading the book of Daniel and today we are going to be reading Daniel chapter 6. I have a word from the Lord for someone today and this is the word. Um, the new king will promote you. I know you were disappointed. Uh, looks like the person you, you have high hope for was retired or was removed or maybe the director even got another job and uh, all your hope seems dashed because you uh, thought that uh, he is the one who or she knows what you can do and the, as a matter of fact the, uh, the mechanism is in place to get you promoted and the person has to move on. The Lord wants you to, the Lord wants me to tell you that the new king will promote you. The Lord has put a thought, a desire in the heart of the new king to lift you up. Um, in Daniel chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that we have read so far, uh, for me, I think the golden thread with regards to Daniel is the wisdom that he possessed. And it's not just that uh, he had the wisdom, understanding, ability to interpret dreams, or the um, tenacity, the way with which they serve their God. These people, they don't care. You know, they were, they, they, they did not hide their identity. And it's one of the things that we are going to be looking at today. Please, I want to encourage you to please leave a comment at the bottom of this video, especially tell me where you're watching from and um, just leave something, drop a comment that is going to be a blessing to somebody else. So, um, in the last chapter, we saw how Daniel interpreted the dream. As a matter of fact, he was called for after a long period of time. You know, um, the king that he served under, there was another king, and then you have this, the grandson, and Daniel was neglected. But because excellent spirit is in him, he couldn't do without him. So now, um, he was called for and then he the king had another dream and then he interpreted the dream and um, he said that to the king that look you have been the number of your days have been number you have been found wanting uh, and uh, in the last video i want to encourage you to go and watch that video daniel chapter 5 we said it's time to check ourselves it's time to check your faith to see whether you are still in Jesus. Second Corinthians uh, chapter 13, verse 5. Don't just assume that you are a Christian. Check your faith. Uh, why are you asking me to check my faith? Because <laughs> the main thing is faith. Uh, faith is the mechanism through which we connect to God. There is no other mechanism. Faith is it. For by faith you were saved through grace. Okay, so you need to check your faith to see: Do you have small faith, a small faith, great faith, no faith, weak faith, strong faith, or are you full of faith? 
like Stephen. I want to encourage you to go and watch that video. And I believe God that as you do, the Lord is going to open your eyes to even see things that we didn't say during the video, and it will be a blessing to you in Jesus' name. So let's read Daniel chapter 6. I want to invite you to join me. I'm going to keep it simple tonight. I'm going to be reading from the easy to read version of the Bible. Um, Darius thought it would be a good idea to choose 120 satraps to rule throughout his kingdom. He chose three men to rule over the 120 satraps. Daniel was one of the three supervisors. The king put these men in this position to keep anyone from cheating him. Daniel proved himself to be a better supervisor than any of the others. He did this by his good character and great ability. The king was so impressed with Daniel that he planned to make him rule over the whole kingdom. But when the other supervisors and the satrap heard about this, they were very jealous. They tried to find reasons to accuse Daniel, so they watched what Daniel did as he went about doing the business of the government, but they could not find anything wrong with him. So they could not accuse him of doing anything wrong. Daniel was a man people could trust. He did not cheat the king. He worked very hard. Wow. Finally, they said, we will never find any reason to accuse Daniel of doing something wrong. So we must find something to complain about that about that is connected to the law of his God. So the two supervisors and satraps went as a group to the king. They said, King Darius, live forever. The supervisors, prefer satrap advisors and governors have all agreed on something. We think that the king should make this law and that everyone must obey it for the next 30 days. Whoever prays to any god or man except you, king, will be thrown into the lion's den. Now, king, make the law and sign the paper. It is written on so that it cannot be changed because the laws of the Medes and Persian cannot be cancelled or changed. So, King Darius made the law and signed it. Daniel always prayed to God three times every day. Three times every day, he bowed down on his knees to pray and praise God. Even though Daniel heard about the new law, he still went to his house to pray. He went up to the upper room of his house and opened the windows that faced towards Jerusalem. Then Daniel bowed down on his knees and prayed just as he, he always had done. Then the supervisors and satrap went as a group and found Daniel praying and asking God for help. So they went to the king and talked to him about the law he had made. They said, King Darius, you sign a law that says for the next 30 days, anyone who prays to any god or man except you, the king will be thrown into lions. Then you did sign that law, didn't you? The king answered, yes, I signed that law. And the laws of Medes and Persians cannot be cancelled or changed. Then they said to the king, that man, Daniel, is not paying attention to you. He is one of the captives from Judah and is not paying attention to the law you signed. Daniel still pray. To his God three times every day. The king became very sad and upset when he heard this. He decided to save Daniel. He walked until sunset, trying to think of a way to save him. Then the men went as a group to the king and said to him, Remember, king, that the law of the Medes and Persians says that no law or command signed by the king can ever be cancelled or changed. So King Darius gave the order. They brought Daniel and threw him in the lion's den. The king said to Daniel, May the God you serve save you. A big rock was brought and put over the opening of the lion's den. Then the king used his ring and put his seal on the rock. He also used the ring of his officials and put their seals on the rock. He, this showed that no one could move that rock and bring Daniel out of the lion's den. Then King Darius went back to his house. He did not eat that night. He did not want anyone to come and entertain him. He could not sleep all night. The next morning, King Darius got up just as it was getting light and ran to Lion's Den. He was very worried. When he got to Lion's Den, he called to Daniel. He said, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God been able to save you from the lions? 
you always serve your God. Wow. Daniel answered, King live forever. My God sent his angel to save me. The angel closed the lion's mouth. The lions have not hurt me because my God knows I am innocent. I never did anything wrong to you, king. King Darius was very happy. He told his servants to leave Daniel out of the lion's den. And when Daniel was lifted out of the den, they did not find any injury on his body. The lions did not hurt Daniel because he trusted in his God. Then the king gave a command to bring the men who had accused Daniel to the lion's den. The men and their wives and children were thrown into lions' den. The lions grabbed them before they hit the floor. The lions ate their bodies and then chew on their bones. Then King Darius wrote this letter to all the people from other nations and language groups all around the world. Greetings. I'm making a new law. This law is for people in every part of my kingdom. All of you must fear and respect the God of Daniel. Daniel's God is the living God. He lives forever. His kingdom will never be destroyed. His rule will never end. God helps and saves people. He does amazing miracles in heaven and on earth. He saved Daniel from the lions. So Daniel was successful during the time Darius was king and when Cyrus the Persian was king. Praise the Lord. Wow, as I was just reading this, um, some things came up again. Um, it says in verse, verse 4, Daniel was a man people could trust. He did not cheat the king and he worked very hard. Hey, um, this is an attribute we should have as Christians. We should be people that can be trusted. Okay? When you tell your brother that, look, borrow me 25 pounds or 30 pounds and i'm going to give it back to you at the end of the month please make sure you pay it back at the end of the month if you cannot uh, call the person and tell them and say look i i don't have money now um when i have i'm going to give it to you if you are a mechanic and somebody gives you your car at their car to repair make sure you do it very well we ought to be people that can be trusted let's not cheat the government um don't make a false declaration about your tax okay work very hard praise the lord uh i just thought i should drop that in daniel was a man people could trust you know let that be said of you that they can trust you um the other thing that I want to say is that before quickly I go into my note is that um, let them know that the wisdom, the way you do your work, the knowledge that you have comes from God. It's not just something that you learned from school. Um, um, I want you to believe God to display extraordinary wisdom let the wisdom of god rest upon you pray that the gift of god on your life will be in manifestation you know most times christians when we talk about gifts we only talk about spiritual gifts i mean and even uh, the spiritual gifts they are not um limited to uh what you what you find in the fivefold ministry or where it was talking about the gifts of the spirit when you go and read first corinthians chapter 12 you know there are gifts about admi administration a uh, government i used to have a sister you know uh she was more or less like an administrator in the ministry nothing could ever go wrong she's great with planning that's a gift you know uh it's not only when we just speak in tongues or we just prophesy or we pray for people to be healed those are gifts of the spirit you know but there is gift of wisdom ability to solve pursuit you know this was the reason why uh daniel was promoted you know uh we said that the king sought to promote you because he proved himself to be a better supervisor than any of the others Make sure you walk your hours. Actually, do more than what you are assigned to do. 
um i was talking to my manager about some things and say oh and he said look he said you don't need to put in anything you always work more hours that we have more hours than we have contracted you uh, without claiming any overtime that's dedication that's commitment let it come from them that you are a reliable person all i am trying to say is that you must be able to do something that they know that this is not common uh they said that he did this by his good character daniel did what he did by his good character and great ability okay uh, i said earlier on that somebody is next in line for promotion the king is going the new king that's the word of the lord that was impressed on my heart the new king is going to promote you don't worry about your boss that left the new king will promote you he said brother Buki, how do you know that um you know uh, there was a time i like to use my personal story and um i was praised i was placed on a particular grade in an organization and i knew i should be earning certain amount of money but you know i wasn't paid the money and, and i told my director then he just wouldn't do anything so i just left it and as god will have it you know so they have to do some reorganization and i have to be made to report to someone who is not a director who reports into a director i consider that as a demotion in a way you know but you know i went to god i didn't do anything wrong it was just a kind of a conspiracy but uh, god said look don't worry i'm going to compensate you but the new director called me by herself without even saying anything to her without making any case he said Buki, I was just going through the budget and looking through the record and I found out that you have not been paid the correct amount. So I just want to let you know, I've instructed the payroll and they're going to start paying you the correct amount. That's what I'm talking about. The thing that you did not expect that we do something about what you have always wanted, the Lord has put it in the heart of that person to promote you. Now, the next thing is Daniel always prayed to God three times in a day. Okay. Um, is there something people he, he did it in such a way that we we're told that he will open the window of his house to face Jerusalem? Apparently, that's the custom of the Jews in, in exile. You know, wherever they are, they open their window and they pray facing Jerusalem. And if they're in Jerusalem, they pray facing Solomon's temple because of the prayer Solomon prayed that if anybody will ask God for anything in this temple, uh, the Lord will answer. Now, as New Testament believers, we are not supposed to face Jerusalem. We are not supposed to face the temple. And uh, I said, Brother Buki, why are you saying that? Is that not abolishing the tradition? Um, no, Jesus himself said the time is coming when those who worship God will worship him in spirit and truth. John chapter 4, verses 20 to 24. If you read the message Bible translation, it says where you worship does not matter. But Daniel prayed three times in a day. He didn't wait, you know, um, uh, for trouble to come before he started praying i want to encourage you today i'm not asking you to do what daniel did by praying three three times in a day maybe just one time but be consistent about it be consistent to the extent that let your family and friend knows that look this is my hour of prayer let your work people know you know what i want to challenge you to become this year is let people know you for your god it's time for you to be to stand up for jesus and let them know that you are a believer let them see some things about you that you won't drink you will not use uh f words you know and things and stuff like that notice you are kind you are nice let them just see some things that they will not see in unbeliever you can't afford to be dressing like them then how are you going to show how are you going to tell them that look there is a better way when you look like them you wear ripped jeans you the problem i have is that um with people who say oh 
are wearing ripped jeans or showing your cleavage there's nothing wrong with that the problem that i have is that you know why don't you start something that originated from the holy spirit and let's let's give it to the world why must we always copy what they do that's the challenge that i have with that now um the king said something about daniel and that's what i want to say i say but okay before i move on to that daniel always prayed to god three times in a day jesus christ said men always ought to pray and not faint you know as a matter of fact in isaiah chapter isaiah chapter 56 uh, verses 6 to 7 he said the foreigners who joined themselves to the lord talking about the gentiles god said he will bring them to the mountain of prayer so i want to encourage you to join us for prayers every tuesday night to night 30 you know make that commitment you know start with that and then join us as we pray your quiet time prayer is not going it is not going to take you far okay uh i like to say this a lot of people like to do uh daniel 14 days prayer and fasting you know daniel didn't just do 14 days daniel prayed consistently three times in a day you can learn from that our lord jesus christ prayed regularly the apostle prayed regularly as a matter of fact the point the, the when the ministry was getting bigger they said look uh we need time in the world and in prayer the ministry of the world and prayer okay the king said the god whom you serve continuously will save you and we have captioned this video the god whom you constantly serve will save you will save you there are two things that i want to draw our attention there they recognize the god of daniel i i want to challenge you that you begin to believe God that God will do some things in your place of work that they will associate with the God that you serve. Okay, um, especially people of color, we believe too much in the material things, as in objects, you know, handkerchief, anointing oil, and all those kind of stuff, mantle, all those kind of stuff. Bless God for your life if that is where your faith level is. But what I am talking about here is that without the anointing oil, without the handkerchief, without any of those things, let them see your product. Um, when you are in nurse and you are on shift, let the peace of God who uh, let the peace of God that passes all understanding, let it reign, let it rule and reign in your world. Let it be that when another nurse comes to the world. All the patients will grow wild. You know, they might be crying, they might be in pain, but the moment you step into that world, you know, peace comes into the world. And let them be able to associate that with something that you didn't learn from the nursing school. Did you understand what I'm saying now? Are you getting something? Um, let it be that, you know, if you are a banker, you know, uh, or maybe you 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 are in sales department. Let it be that when you are on duty, they have more sales. Something that they could not attach. They couldn't they couldn't pin to a particular strategy. But just because you are there, you know something happened. Let them be able to associate your associate your success with God and not your skills and not your qualification that's one thing i want you to trust god for i want you to believe god for this year you know it's amazing that daniel didn't go to any university in babylon when the king sought for them they were he said look for brilliant people a good looking guys that we might train them in the customs and the language of the chaldeans you know the, the the plan wasn't to add more skills to them they they, they came ready-made you know they were filled with wisdom already they were brilliant people they did you know exam qualification but they wanted to train them in the way of the world okay but we saw in daniel chapter one that god gave 
these people knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom and daniel had understanding in all visions and dream we said daniel could do anything i pray that the grace to do anything will come on you in jesus name so two things about daniel they recognize the god of daniel they know that look this one is wisdom is coming from god um Acts of Apostles chapter 4 verse 13 has become one of my favorite, uh, favorite scripture. You know, I'm into information management system. And I tell people, I said, look, uh, what I do um, is a master design. I didn't learn it from any class. And I tell people, I, I'm not ashamed to tell them. I said, I will be walking on the road. And then I said, I will download. I will hear from the Spirit of God. I, I will, even though they don't understand the Holy Spirit, I will explain it to them that there is a spiritual realm. And I get my things from spiritual realm. I tell them it's inspiration. So that's why you cannot reproduce my work. I, I'm not just posting. No, 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 no. Uh, the, the, the scripture says that God has given gift where you think. To each and every one of us and if he did the same thing for me for daniel he can do the same thing for you so they recognize the god of daniel so do your colleagues do they know where your wisdom come from um have they recognized special ability in you do they even know that you are a born again christian let me tell you uh, what's the difference between them you dress like them you go to pub you drink you do almost everything that they do um their boyfriend sleep with their girlfriend whatever you are also doing the same thing so how are you different from them you don't even have any fellowship with the father now second thing is that they acknowledge that daniel served god continuously you know i, I want to read some things to you they said uh when they were looking for fault he said they said this about uh it they said look we cannot find fault with regards to what this guy is doing he can be trusted he's lawyer he's committed he's dedicated you understand um and um you know i was having a conversation with one of my colleagues and he was saying something like you know we we're talking and i was talking about the blessing of the lord on my life and and i said to her and then he said oh but people who don't serve god like that you know and they get blessed then i gave her an example i said you mean blessing like this and then she said mm, that's unusual that's what i'm talking about i'm talking about things that the lord will do for you that the unbelievers we know that that's an, that's unusual that's not things that's not something anybody can get okay so they acknowledge that daniel served god continuously uh, number one thing is they recognize the God of Daniel. Uh, Acts of Apostle 4, 13 said, When they saw the boldness and the confidence of Peter and John, knowing that they were untrained, uneducated people, he said they were astounded and began to recognize that they had been with Jesus. They took notice of them that going to church did something different in their life. Okay, if you go to church to just receive miracles, the miracle is for you. It will not benefit your uh, organization. Do you understand what I am saying? So when they are doing restructuring, they could lay you off and you can go and enjoy your miracle. But when you are the man behind their strategy, okay. The wisdom of God comes upon you. You can't be get. They can't get rid of you so easily. Now they acknowledge that God, that Daniel served God continuously. You know, I particularly love the fact that um, I, I want to read this to you. Uh, even though Daniel heard about the new law, I me mean, so they went and they. Uh, they uh, they made a law that so that Daniel won't serve God. It could lead be that um, the reason that they've changed your rota, the reason they've changed you know your rota and your shift pattern, is so that you won't have time to serve your God. You won't have time to fellowship with God. 
the reason they've increased the number of your hours is so that you become so tired and you cannot even watch the mirror of the world you like to watch it or you cannot join us for bible study or you couldn't even you know you are not committed to any church now god brought church to come and meet you online still you are struggling to 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 connect to that could it be the reason uh that is in place is to deny you the opportunity to have fellowship with god to be connected to your fellow brother and even though Daniel heard about the new law, he still went to his house to pray. He did exactly what he was doing before. No one could stop him when it comes to his fellowship with God. I pray that, you know, the same spirit that was in Daniel, that same spirit will come on you. You will constantly serve God and the God that you serve we save you i believe you have deposited some word into your heart today uh, the word of the lord in proverbs chapter 4 verse 20 to 22 say my son attend to my word consent and submit to my saying let them not depart from your side keep them in the center of your heart what word this is the instruction that God gave me. He asked me to tell you, keep my word in the center of your heart. Let my words be written in your heart for they are life to those who find them healing and health to all their flesh. Now, because you are sick now, uh, you haven't been keeping the word in your heart and you are sick now, or maybe you are, whatever, you are sick. You want me to agree with you. Lord, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my brother. I pray for my sister. I join my faith with them. The world says, according to James chapter 5, verse 14, that the prayer of faith shall save the sick. Lord, I pray that everyone that needs to be saved, the same way you shut the mouth of lions, I pray you will do the same. Ah, thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, you shut the mouth of lions so they could not devour Daniel. Lord, I ask you to stop that cancer from spreading. Thank you, Lord. Hey, Kala Seketeka. Hey, manga taka kasuku baraka laki semba kalabaya, pupu paraka takataya. I stop the spread of the infection today in the name of Jesus. Agalea kasala bukusi nanga, irian takabu risin kurian. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I stop the growth. Today, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. Thank you for these miracles. Thank you for this healing. Oh, it will get better in the name of Jesus. It will get better in the name of Jesus. It will get better in the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. You know what? Uh, the word I got there as I was praying, he said, um, the king called unto Daniel, he said, has your God, has he saved you? Um, he said that my God, whom I serve, shut the mouth of the lions so that they could not devour me. Wow. Wow. Yes. He said, the angel closed the lion's mouth. Okay, so the aggressiveness of the cancer have been stopped today. That's the first step. That's what we do. we don't want the cancer to spread to vital organs. So it will destroy you. Uh, that's the first thing. You know, when you go for medical checkup test, um, uh, 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 medical checkup or test, the next test you are going to get yeah, from the time you watch this video anytime you come in contact with this video anytime 
you will have a growth something is spreading and you come in contact with this video and you receive this word the lord will stop the spread in the name of jesus and i want to thank god and i want to bless his name if you want to give your life to jesus christ you want to be born again you want to receive eternal life you know um I have been thinking about when I invite people to our Lord Jesus Christ. What exactly am I inviting them to? Jesus Christ said, I came that they may have eternal life. Most times when we, maybe the other invitations you've had so far is an invitation to church, come to our church. I'm not inviting you to come to church. Um, that will come later. But the first invitation is in an invitation to know God, to come and have fellowship with him. I want you to come out of darkness and come into the light of God. You see, I want you to attempt to walk in a room uh, where there is no light, even if it's your own house. And let's see whether you will not stumble if they, if a dangerous animal crept, maybe a rat <laughs> come into your room. Uh, you can't see the rat. You won't see what the rat is doing. Uh, but when you switch off the light, you know you see everything clearly and you will not stumble so well, all i'm asking you to do today switch on the light by giving your life to jesus christ because jesus christ is the light of the world in in whom uh, in him is light he is the light and his light is the life of men accept jesus christ as your lord and as your savior and the way you do that is by believing in your heart that he can save you and he will give light to your light and you begin to have fellowship with him and then you say it with your mouth so two things you believe and you say so i'm going to ask you to say a short prayer that's how you become born again you don't become born again by buffing seven times by the side of the sea so let's say it together lord jesus i confess that i am a sinner i repent of my sins today I believe you die so I can have eternal life. I ask you to come into my heart today. Be my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for saying that prayer. You are now born again. You are going to see our email address at the bottom of the screen. I want you to please text me, sending your prayer request, testimony, um if you need any support you want to be baptized with the holy spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues i want you to please you know get in touch with us or you need support or any kind just get in touch with us join us for our fellowship tomorrow tuesday we pray every tuesday and friday is our bible study online join us if you write us an email or text us uh, we will give you the details or on how you can join or you can just catch up live on facebook may god himself the god who makes everything holy and whole make you holy and whole put you together spirit soul and body and keep you fit for the coming of our master jesus christ the one who called you is completely dependable if he said it he will do it thank you so much for watching this video i want you to uh, go on our youtube channel and watch other videos that we have done and please don't forget like this video share this video among your friends and start talking about jesus thank you so much for watching until i come your way with a fresh edition of the mirror of the world god bless you have a wonderful evening a wonderful morning or afternoon depending on what part of the world you are watching for from god bless you bye